Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. That's right, folks. We're here at the American Crappie Trail on Kentucky Lake 2020 out of Paris Landing. We started very early and we got off to a great start on this great day. Two day event. It's all going to happen in this episode. We're going to put some big fish in the boat. Please do me a favor and subscribe. American Crappie Trail 2020 on Kentucky Lake. Here we go. It's game day. It's always an exciting day on American Crappie Trail. morning getting off to a really good start Need pound plus fish that's the key today that's right folks we went back to the cove that was fairly close to Paris Landing we had so much struggle with death during our pre-fishing that we thought that was probably gonna be the best call on this first day of this tournament but let me tell you we got off to the dream start we picked a pile that we thought would have a lot of fish on it it did we had a lot of fish a lot of weight in the boat within 30 minutes of start time since the minute that we got on this pile but great time a lot of double ups and uh we had a, it was just it was the ideal start for us during this act event <laughs> Good start. We're gonna have our seven fish bite. <laughs> the culling process is gonna start early. Here, go ahead. Do yours first. Just get her done. fish. It's got to be a 13 incher. Beautiful morning here. We got just a little bit of wind. Um, this is number six fish. It only weighs a three quarters of a pound, but one of our first seven. So he'll be out of there in no time flat today. Here you go. He's already, in the, he's already in the system. This Rapella tournament scale is awesome. You guys need to check it out. If you don't have one, get one. They're great. Only been to two piles. Almost got our seven fish. Pretty impressive start. Excellent fish, Wade. I got a pig. Yeah, baby. We just 
We saw three fish down there that hit two of them. Fish, that was awesome. Mine weighed 108. Mine was 101. crushing us I'm sure <laughs> but we're doing really good that's a good fish right there one point zero eight that's at least a 13 and a half inch fish maybe even a 14 one point zero eight gives you an idea how small they're weighing Good fish. That's a big one. Good job. <laughs> he about lost it. <laughs> he about lost it. Don't let him bring you back up. Coming down the head of it. Oh, we got a good net story. We got a real good net story. Our first fish, we decided we're going to net every fish. Yeah. Well, apparently last night, the coon or something got on the boat and ate a hole through our net. No. He'll show it to you when he gets this fish cold. 1.21. Big fish, big fish. Put, get, get that fish, you take care of your fish. This guy came in from the bottom, man. We'll see what happens to this guy. Bam! 0.19. Uh, take out six. You're going to take out six. 
six. Good start. Where are you guys from? East Tennessee. Here we go. There they are. Bringing us some good luck. <laughs> Bring it on. That's a big fish right there. That's the big fish of the day so far. Number one. One and a half. A 105. So we're seriously considering the 12:30 early check-in time. <laughs> I mean, we, we did even last night. We were like, we're going in early if we think we're struggling with fish. So, well, we just got ice in there. Um, that's pretty much it. And we're recirculating. We've got some Mr. Crappie uh, additive that you put in there. But uh, So that was a great experience to have some subscribers out there watching and i'll tell you what we just had a ball on day one we caught a lot of fish a lot of pound fish but we also got some dandies in there we were very proud where we were at now due to the fish death that we had been experiencing the last three days we did elect to go in early and there were already boats in before us so we weren't the only ones experiencing this so we said hey let's let's get these fish in and and play it safe it was it was definitely the right move and uh, we finished pretty darn good after day one. All right, we just weighed in and we ended up with nine pounds, 9.35. Um, only teams, two, three, two teams have uh, also weighed in. We came in a, an hour early. Uh, we lost one of our fish. We've struggled with that all week as I've, I've showed. And we saw everything was on the brink of death. I mean, I'm serious. When we put them in the buck in the, uh, the well where they count them and look at them, every single one of them looked like they were on the brink of death. So uh, we absolutely waited to the ninth hour to get off the water and uh, we did as good as we could possibly do on day one. So it'll be really curious to see where we end up at 935. That's our best day on Kentucky Lake since we've been here. This is the fourth day here. So very proud of our first day during the tournament. Um, I'm going to guess that's going to put us in the top 20, top 20, top 25. Um, that's my guess. Who knows where we'll end up, but maybe I'll give you some footage here. Um, of what goes down and it was a good day for us it was a good day for us we had two great fish today so bigger than anything we had caught the previous day so good. so yeah we had a great first day this was the best day that we had experienced on kentucky lake up to this point we had caught the two biggest fish that we had caught up to this point so we we put all our cards on the table on the first day and we felt really good about it now we still struggled with fish dying and we did have a fish die and every single one of the fish that we brought to the weigh-in were on their sides i mean we're fortunate that they were considered alive and we feel like um yeah we waited till the ninth hour we actually got out there off the lake at the last possible moment so we did take advantage of his every bit of fishing time that we could get but we ended up in 18th spot and we feel really good about that that 
position out of 60, I believe three teams, 63 teams. So never seen the lake. We felt really solid about this experience and we are looking forward to day two. The question becomes, do we go back to the same cove or do we go to the other cove that we had marked? Now the other cove that we have an option to go to has a ton of structure. Unfortunately, it is about six miles down the, the lake. So here we go. Two fish in, championship morning. Off to a similar start. Different pile today. It's pretty much the pile we ended on yesterday, but we knew there were still fish on it. That's our big fish right there so far. That's a hog. That's a good fish. Probably only gonna weigh 1.2 or something. Told you, 1.27, that's a good fish right now. That's a real good fish. Another one. Two great fish within five minutes of each other. We're in the barn. 804, we're in the barn. Guess the fish over here. Tough bite today, folks. And that's probably only a point 
8.0.9. You probably can uh, sense the frustration in my voice, but you know, we had a good start. We had our seven fish, but at the end of the day, we weren't catching the big fish. And our big decision was whether we wanted to explore that other cove, which was about three miles further down the lake. And at the end of the day, we just said, you know, we haven't experienced, we've experienced only fish death when we make that run. Every time we've come back from that cove, and we did it two days in a row, we all our fish essentially had died. So we figured it was just worth just to stay in that particular cove the uh, the entire day. And unfortunately, we did lose some ground here, and we went to 25th spot and ended up with roughly around seven and a half pounds. But we're proud of that finish. That's a top 25 in an ACT event on a lake that we do not know and never have. And we learned so much about Kentucky Lake. Um, and we'll be well prepared for next year. We cannot wait to come for next, go next year because we will come with the oxygen tank. We will come with the extra cooler. Um, we will get prepared for this, uh, these fragile fish here at Kentucky Lake. But at the end of the day, very impressed by Kentucky Lake and recommend it to anybody. It really um, surprised us how good of a fishery it was and the size of fish we were yanking out. Now they were light because it was post spawn, but just a great event by the ACT as always, and certainly a great venue.